What's most concerning to me about the Chinese Communist Party is the strategies and tactics they're using at sub-national level of targeting our legislatures, county commissioners, county councils, uh, to try and develop relationships uh, that are going to promote the objectives and values of the Chinese Communist Party. And so for me, it's about safeguarding our taxpayers' interests and dollars and making sure that we aren't funding the Chinese Communist Party and making sure that we maintain our independence from influence from the Chinese Communist Party. I have been surprised to see how many states still have uh, Chinese Communist Party owned uh, technology in their states. I know I'm looking into legis uh, legislation right now that would prohibit Utah's official entities, you know, funded by state tax dollars from making any purchases on Chinese owned companies, uh, technology that could be used uh, to influence operations and also collect data on Utah citizens. I think it's telling that Congress has put bans in place, our military has put bans in place on certain products and computers that can't be used, but nowhere at the state level are we seeing that information passed down. So I think it's our job at the state to be stewards of our citizens' information, their data, and again, their tax dollars to make sure we're not funding the Chinese Communist Party. So that's going to be important to me in this next legislative session, to make sure that the policies that we run are truly about making sure Utahns are safe and safeguarding our independence from foreign influence. This is a national security issue. Utah is a leader in the aerospace and defense sector. We have Hill Air Force Base, Camp Williams, Degway Proving Ground. I could go on as why we should be very aware of the uh, technology that we're using in our state entities and also making sure we're safeguarding the data and privacy of our citizens so that isn't used or manipulated by the Chinese Communist Party.